Hey everyone, it's Kylie. Um, today I want to talk about DNFing books and just some of the books that I've DNFed and some of my thoughts on DNFing books. So I think what I'm just going to start with is um, just some of the books that I've read over the last year or so that I have completely DNF'd for one reason or another. And not all of these are just completely dead to me. I'm going to go back to a few of them. So I guess we can start with the ones that I'm going to go back to. Let's start with the most recent one that I've been talking about. So this summer my husband actually bought me a book called Torn by Rowena Miller. And this is, uh, from what I can gather, is about um, a dressmaker who is who gets like wrapped up in politics with her brother and there's like some sort of resistance because of labor work. Um, I've only gotten about 80 or 90 pages in and not that much has happened and that's my main reason for setting it down. I do want to give it another try because I feel like it could get better. So the next one that I thought of was Horns by Joe Hill and this one I was actually really excited about because if you don't know this, Joe Hill is Stephen King's son and if you know me at all, I love Stephen King. I got this one on um, Audible and I just, me and the narrator weren't meshing very well so I just want to kind of pick it up in print or on my ebook and see how it goes with me actually like eyes to words reading it. So along the same vein would be The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I was just starting to get into audiobooks when I got this. It was my first Audible credit, um, the one that you get when you like are in the trial. I just wasn't meshing well and I do want to try it again. I want to try it now that I'm more used to audiobooks um, on audio and if that doesn't work I'd like to pick it up and actually read it. Um, I know it's a very beloved book so I would like to you know get on that train. And then another book that I DNF'd but want to go back to eventually is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, I'm not sure if I said that right. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But basically this was one of my book club picks back in, I want to say April. Um, and at that time, I was actually reading a lot of content that kind of surrounded that time period. And I think I was just getting really bogged down with heavy content and just that whole subject in general. So, and I think it's World War II. So I just kind of wasn't feeling it at the time. I'd like to pick it up again maybe when I feel in the mood for something like that which I think might be soon. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. I have uh, three books that I have read over the last year that I just flat out did not finish. <laughs> um, and the first one I actually want to talk about because it's what inspired this video and it's uh, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and if you know me personally you know that I pretty much hate that I hate it I hate it so much and I have reasons why <laughs> um, but firstly I actually buddy read this book this month with my friend Mika August and I feel so bad for just not finishing it but I just couldn't I could I could not <laughs> So the reasons why I finished this book and I'm not planning to pick it up like pretty much ever is because the main character Alina is the most oblivious and stupid person I've ever read about. Oh my god I just couldn't like I couldn't with her. She was just so like everything went over her head and on top of that she just didn't care about anything. So as a result of that aside from it being super frustrating <laughs> She wasn't making any choices. She was just being pushed through the story and it was like, oh, well, okay, I guess I'm here now. Um, so I found myself, as I read about 200 pages, just every single thing that happened was happening to her and she wasn't making any choices. So for me, I just couldn't keep doing it. It was killing me. I know that this book is loved by so many people, but it is definitely not for me. You should definitely go check out Mika's channel. I don't know how she's quite feeling about this. I think similarly but not quite as, as intense as me. <laughs> you should definitely go check out her thoughts this month. I don't know when she's posting her video. I should probably find that out. Moving on before I get too frustrated. I um, won a book from a Goodreads giveaway and that book is called 
Choose Wonder Over Worry, I think by Amber Ray. I went on a I went on a giveaway spree and I won a few books that I didn't like particularly want which I feel kind of bad about now and I don't do that now. This book from what I can understand is more like a self-help kind of book like this is how you're gonna choose wonder over worry. So I was interested in it. I wanted to kind of try a new genre so I started reading this and I found out that it's also part workbook but my main issue why I didn't finish it was one I did not like the writing. I felt like it was very ranty and just this, 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 and this, and just it was just going on and on about things, but also it wasn't really what I was expecting. It was more about the author's life and less about like how to choose wonder over worry. And the next and final book I have is actually, um, it's called Renegades by Marissa Meyer, and I was actually so pumped about this book. Back I think it was almost a year ago um, when the book came out. I had pre-ordered it. I had got my beautiful shiny brand new copy right at my doorstep on the day of its release and I read about 30% of it and for me I think this one boils down to just a me issue um, because, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before, I think I was just like riding off of the the whole Luna Chronicles wave and I was just really excited but I don't like superhero stuff I don't like comics I'm not into the whole DC and Marvel it's just not me I have never liked it and I don't think I ever will I don't have anything against it it's just not something I like I'm just kinda like that's why I didn't finish it. It just gave me too many of those vibes and I wasn't connecting with any of the characters or the plot. But this book will probably have a nice home soon because I have a friend who's way into this kind of a thing. So I'm gonna give it to her and hopefully she'll like it because it deserves a nice home because it is brand new and I just, I want somebody to like the copy that I bought. I just do, so hopefully she'll like it. That being said, I know that like talking about DNFing books can get kind of negative. I just want to talk a little bit about my thoughts and just say, you know, it's okay to DNF a book. Like, you shouldn't feel pressured to finish something that you're just not enjoying. So, if it's gonna, you know, lift up your spirits, close that book and set it aside. Unless it's for school, and then you should probably read it. I don't really have a whole lot else to say. This was just kind of an inspired video by Shadow and Bone, and I hope you guys enjoy it because I really enjoyed just kind of thinking about these things. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyways, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Bye!